Thank you for coming to this workshop. Today, my name is Pei Jiang Zhang. I'm a researcher of the National Institute of Information and Communication Technology in Japan. Today, I will do the overview presentation about our workshop, Insight for Wellbeing, Multimodal Personal Health Life Log Data Analysis. Now, let's start the presentation. First, it's about the background of our workshop. As we know, the association between people's well-being and the properties of the surrounding environment is an essential area of investigations. In order to know about the surrounding environment, a lot of IoT devices have been set in many cities. Like this figure shows the environment maintain station in Japan. However, most of those research focus on the general uh, population, but not uh, for the personal skill. On a personal skill, local information about air pollution, weather, or nature are very important for personal health. It, but uh, it is not always uh, possible to get the plentiful amount of personal skill environment data. So, uh, what is the personal environment data? Those data is the important impact the impact of the environment on the skill for invited people. Uh, those data were using the variable or mobile environment data connection device to connect. And like shown on the uh, the on this figure, we will use this variable information sensors smartphones or smartwatch or left look camera to get those data. This data can be used to consumerize the people with the personal health plan, like uh, which road has a better eye and uh, good for health. But uh, on the other hand, this data is re cannot be abundant at all times. And it's difficult to collect in a large quantities. So, uh, in this workshop, we want to find the answer to this question. Does the personal eye quality be predicted by using other data that is easy to abandon? This is a very important question. Like if we can predict the personal eye quantity by the public open data or by the left local data. So, uh, in order to answer this question, in this workshop, we set it about two tasks. The text one, the personal eye quantity partition with the public open data. In this test, uh, the prediction target is the value of the personal eye pollution data, include the PM2.5, the oxygen, and the NO2. And the input of the other data is the weather data, including wind speed, the wind direction, temperature, and uh, community, and the eye pollution data from the public open data source. From the text one, we want to know whether we can use the public open data to predict the personal eye pollution data. And the text two is about the personal eye quality prediction with the left look data. And the prediction target is the same as the text one, the value of the personal eye quality. The input of the other data Except the public open data, we will, we will plus the live log image data at the same location of the prediction target. From this test, we want to know whether we can use only live log data plus some data from the open source to predict the personal eye pollution data. Uh, about the data set we gave to the participant, 
to join to our uh, these two tests is about the two data sets. The first data set is the personal iQuant data set along to the Tokyo 2021 2021 Olympic Marathon course. This data uh, set is collected by five data clinician participants, uh, just uh, the five roads to connect the data by the variable sensors, as shown on this figure. This five road, uh, the five road to uh, the road one to road four is will be along the marathon course for the to Tokyo 2020 Olympic. The road five, this five is four road, and the road five was the running course around the improvise the light of each road was five kilometers and uh, each participant started the data collection at uh, 9 o'clock a.m every weekday and it took one hour to uh, walk for to walk each road in, uh, the data collected is include the temperature, the humidity, the oxygen, the PM2.5, and uh, the O2, GPS, and the level of image. And uh, for this data set, the personal air quality is the oxygen, the PM2.5, and the O2. To connect all of those data, we have six sensors to connect the data by workers and the two sensors can have data by car. And the global data, uh, the other data set uh, about the public open data is uh, the global air pollution data set in Tokyo. In this data set, we have 26 winter stations in this data set. For each station, we have 11 types of air pollutant. Uh, and uh, we have four types of weather data. But in fact, for not for all station, we we'll collect all of those improvement or all of those weather data. So in this data set, it will have a lot of missing data. For the grand truth and the evaluation matrix of our text, for both of the two tests, the grand truth is the value of the personal air pollution data, the PM2.5, the oxygen, and the NO2. And we use those three different uh, metrics to, for evaluation. Uh, at the last, we have the 11 team to join to our test. Uh, and uh, at the last, uh, Four teams have returned the uh, result for test one, and the two teams returned the result for test two. Uh, this is the result for test one. Uh, we can say uh, the A AISIA team gets the best result in uh, NO2 and Oxygen. And the QHL UIT team get the best result in PM25. So, well, congratulations for AISIA team to get in the best team of test one. In test two, only AISIA team and the QHL team return the result. And the AISIA team Get the best result again. So both test two and one and test two, the ASI team gets the best result. So for the discussion, well, only for test one. In fact, we accept uh, 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 the participant will also prepare the baseline model called the decode transfer learning model to test the same data in test one. As you, you can see. Uh, in fact, uh, for NO2 and the oxygen, the detail model will get the best result. And uh, this is the 
uh, opening presentation. Thank you for listening.